Hey, what's up everyone? It is Custom here and I'm back with a new video and today I am on Discord joined with 1A3. Hello. And today we're going to be telling you how you can make your Discord server upon creation awesome. So we're going to create a server from scratch today, me and Jensen. So we're going to go do that in a second. But before we go and get into that, there's a couple of things you guys need to do. And the first thing you guys need to do is you've got to go and hit that subscribe button. Make sure that subscribe button turns grey instead of being red, that means you're subscribed. Only about 50% of you are actually subscribed, so make sure to go do that, it helps me out massively. And also check that YouTube hasn't unsubscribed you because it does glitch sometimes. And also go and hit that like button, let's see if this video can potentially hit, I don't know, let's, uh, let's go with 700 likes. You know, it's very, very high. If we do it, then we might do a part two to this video as well, potentially. And then also guys, make sure to go down and comment below some feedback which is constructive because then it helps me grow and makes my you know videos better in the long run. Also go and hit the bell and join both of my Discord servers. Links are on screen right now. I've got two, one's a community server and the other's on my channel. Anyways, let's get straight into this video and yeah, uh, let's create this server. So guys, I'm going to create this server now and we're just going to call it, uh, what should we call it Jensen? Uh -huh. I'm going to call it Customs Template. Okay, so we're creating this server called Customs Template, and we're gonna make the server icon just something funny, because we don't really need to make it anything interesting. So we're gonna make it our Lord Susan. Lord Susan of YouTube. Because, you know, we can't get enough of Susan. So, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go over here, and we're gonna create the server. So, I'm gonna send you an invite, 183. There you are. Right guys, so the first tip in which I suggest that you do as soon as you make your server is set your moderation levels above none. Now that means that you might not get raided because you don't want to get raided, it can really destroy your community and destroy your server. So I do recommend that you set it for at least medium, it must be above low because that is too, you know, that is a very low thing and people can easily get in with that. So make it medium or higher and then also make sure it scans from all members. Then, once you've done that, I do recommend you enable your two-factor requirements. So that's what I'm going to do here. So what you do is, um, if you have two-factor enabled on your account, you have to to have this, you know, enabled. What you do is you enable two-factor. Then, if I go and get a code from my um, auth application on my phone, what you do here is then you enter the six-digit code which you have. So you go like this. Now this will be blurred, obviously, because I don't know too much about it. But then it allows you to enable, you know, the two-factor requirement. That prevents potentially hijacked accounts, you know, your admins that could get hacked or something from banning loads of people. And it does protect the server. The scanning content means that you won't really get, you know, a lot of the bad stuff which people post. And the medium can prevent you getting raided. Now this is a very, very good thing I do recommend you do as soon as you make the server. Because then it protects your server and makes it awesome for the people that join. So that's the first thing I recommend you do as soon as you create your server on Discord. Right guys, so the second tip which I suggest as soon as you make your server is by going to your server overview and setting up a few things. Now, in your server overview, you get access to do some things. You get access to change the picture of the server, you get access to change the name of the server and the server region. Now, you want the server region to be the closest to where all your members are. So for us, me and Jensen, we both live in the UK, so it's obviously Europe. Now, you've got another option here, which is AFK channel. So AFK means away from keyboard. If someone hasn't talked in a channel for, you know, 10, 15 minutes, they're not exactly going to contribute to the server. So what Discord does, it automatically moves them to the AFK channel on the server. So what I do is you just select the channel which is named AFK or away from keyboard or the one which you just want people not to be in. Make sure the AFK channel, they're not really supposed to talk in. Um, so make sure that speaking and voice activity is off. But for the most part, just leave it there. Now the AFK timeout, I recommend this is, you know, about 15 minutes. Because some people, you know, might want to pop to the loo for like a couple of minutes. So one minute or five minutes isn't really long enough. So we'll leave it at 15 minutes, I think. Then if I go to system messages, we go to the general chat. You probably want some stuff. But if you have a bot, which I recommend, there's a couple of bots which we will suggest later in this video. I recommend you turn off the welcome message and you leave that to a bot because bots make it look nicer. But leave on the boost message because it's very nice as soon as someone boosts the server and it can get you more boosts because people get recognition for it. Make sure to leave the boost option on, but maybe leave it in your general channel or the announcements, whichever you know you want to do. So we're gonna leave it in general for now. 
Now the final thing which you guys should do as soon as you make the server as well is by default notifications. Change that to only at mentions. If it's on all messages, people will leave your server because they're going to get pings like and people don't want that. That's, you know, it's, uh, it's, not, it's not very good. So make sure you turn it to only mentions because then they get way less pings, they're way happier, and, you know, they only get mentioned for the most important stuff. So leave it as that and it would be good. So I'm going to save changes and I'll go over to the next tip in a second. Right guys, so the next thing which you should do as soon as you set up your server is by doing channels. Now the thing which I suggest is by going over to your server and then adding a bunch of different categories. So the categories I suggest are important, where you can put your announcements and your information. General, where you can put your general chat, you know, media, where people can post images and commands. Voice channels, have your AFK channel here, your general, and maybe your music channel if you want a music bot like Rhythm. And then staff, where you've got staff chat, mod logs, action logs, and staff voice chat. So that's the basic structure which I suggest to your server. Now you can add more channels, maybe some fun channels, like you could add one word story or counting channel. But for the general template which I'm doing here, the ones which I suggest are the ones on the screen. Now for announcements, obviously you want that specifically so only admins and owners can see it. So what you do is you make sure that owners can send messages and they can add reactions admins can send messages and they can have reactions but then everyone cannot send messages it will still allow them to read it but don't change any of the other permissions and it will still work now same thing with information you probably just want the admins and owners to do it so it's the exact same permission set up so i believe you should do that too now if we go over to general this is a bit more of a you know free thing here and you only just want the people that are muted not to work you know not to be able to talk in here so the muted role means that send messages are off and add reactions are off. They can't do anything else. In media, what you do is you go over here, again muted, but in this time they can actually attach files, whereas on general they can't. Commands, no, they send bot commands again, muted can't. AFK, general and music, standard stuff, but in AFK, obviously they can't speak. They can obviously connect to it still, but they, they can't speak in the channel. Right, so over on the general channel for the uh, for the voice, as you can see, everything again, they can all talk. This is automatically set up, so you know, that's fine. And then um, muted can't talk. So that's basically what you want. The rest, staff chat, just leave it to staff, um, basically here, as you can see. And it works perfectly. So just leave it like that. Permission set up as so, and your, your server will be flourishing in no time. It'll be working. So make sure to go do that and your server will be awesome. So let's head over to the next tip which I'll suggest to you whilst upon setting up your server. So let's go do that. Right guys, so the next thing I suggest when making your server is by setting up your roles. Now I suggest a standard template and this is the sort of thing I've got here and the one that you can use if you use our server template. Now the plus role is where you've got admin perms. Now people want the crown. If you give a hoisted role admin perms, then you won't get the crown on your, you know, on your user. As you can see here, server owner, it allows me to have it if there's a separate role which isn't hoisted that has admin perms. So owner doesn't have it, they don't have admin perms. Admin, again, they don't have admin perms which allows you to have the crown. But as you can see here, they can do most other stuff like manage roles, etc, etc, manage nicknames, blah, 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 blah. So that all works perfectly. Moderator is a similar thing, again, and then staff, Basically, you hoist your staff separately, um, so the moderators all go in one bunch, just under the staff category, and that's my suggestion. Now, again, you've got bot roles, so Logibot, links in the description, Logibot is a good bot, it's owned by my friend 1A3, who's on the call right now. Oh. And uh, it's owned by him, so I suggest you go and get that. It's a good moderation bot. It's got some verified features on there as well. And then you've got muted, which is standard. People get muted if they break a rule or something like that. So make sure to go add that. And you've got me six, you know, for leveling and that sort of stuff. So I, I recommend you add me six to your thing as well. People like levels and that sort of stuff. Um, so the more they talk, the more um, XP they will get. So the more levels they climb up the leaderboard. Then you've just got a general bots sort of role and it bunches them together on here as you can see under bots and then um, you've got the member role which you know all the members have some sort of nice form of color which is a good thing because you can't change the member 
color for at everyone. So, you know, just make sure that's set up. Also, what I suggest is on the at everyone, make sure you have turned off mention at everyone at here and all roles and make sure it is off for every single one of these roles because if it isn't, except from the admins and owners, then you could end up with a very bad raid on your hands. So make sure to turn off mention at everyone at here and all roles. So be very careful with that and make sure ban and kick isn't on for anyone else as well. So that's what I recommend regarding the roles. Again, you can use the server template if you just want to, you know, use our standard sort of roles that we set up. So make sure to go use that. It's very useful. Anyways, I'll go over to the next tip I suggest when setting up your Discord server. Right guys, so over on here, I'm on my actual like customs magical world now for a second and I'll go over to SFE2. Now this one is about server aesthetics. Now I'm not gonna set it up on the template server purely because of the fact that no one's gonna see it and it doesn't get transferred over anyway. Now for this, I recommend that you have an awesome server icon, as you can see here, and SFE has an awesome one too. Links on screen, you should join both of them. Um, and then also make sure you have an awesome name. So this is Customs Magical World, this is something for everyone. Make sure it's unique, something not something like Chill Zone is already used. Gaming Hub, again, already used all the time. So make sure it's very original. People will remember it that way. Make sure that you know you have an information channel which looks good as soon as people join. Um, so if on Customs Magical World we have a bit of information, you know, something about my YouTube channel and then some rules. So make sure that's all in there. Put the rules in information, it just makes it easier. And then, for example, on SFE, again, we have the information channel, um, which does need updating, to be fair. But at the same time, it uh, again, it looks pretty good, generally, and it gives you some question and answers, events, stuff, and then some rules, again. So I do recommend you update that. Now, again, I would recommend that you might add some other stuff. If you get server boosts, make sure to add, like, a server banner. I haven't done that on most of it yet, but I will soon. Um, so yeah, add a server banner, maybe add an invite background and also add some emotes. I really recommend that people love emotes and as you can see here on Something For Everyone, we have a bunch of our own koala emotes which were commissioned for SFE so make sure to go join and find them too. So make sure you have emotes, make sure you have an awesome server icon, make sure you maybe have a server like, you know, background when you set up your server if you have enough boosts for it anyway. So make sure to go set up all of that and it'd be awesome. People will love it, it will look good and more people might want to join. So make sure that's all set up, the aesthetics look good, the information channel looks good and you'll be on your way to have an awesome successful Discord server. So I'll go over to the next tip which I suggest when you're setting up your Discord server now. Right guys, so the next tip which I suggest when you're setting up your server is all about setting up bots. Now, I'll give this over to uh, 1A3 to explain because he's a bot developer. So 1A3, do you want to talk about what bots do, some bots you might want to suggest, and maybe why um, having bots on your server is a good idea? So the first bot I'd recommend is Dino since it's a good moderation bot and has like spam protection and other features like that. And then there's also bots like Me6 which have leveling and there's also Logibot which is my bot which has features such as moderation and a lot of other features which you can find on our website. So yeah guys, bots generally help your server, so I recommend you add bots, a lot of them have dashboards, um, make sure to go check out Logibot, links in the description, make sure to go check out Me6, again links in the description. Me6 has an awesome dashboard, makes it easy for you to set up, I won't go through all of that perfectly, but let me just show you the you know, standard dashboard for Me6 quickly. Over here on Me6, as you can see, you've got levels, moderator, so as you go here, then you can basically, you know, add, add stuff. So I would change this a bit, so I'll go like, congrats. So I could put like, congrats, because it makes it look cooler. And then you can potentially add rewards for like, your, you know, levels. You might have to be Me6 Premium for that now, and you can change the XP rate of it, but again, you might have to be Premium, and then you can change no XP rolls, no XP channels, etc, etc, and it works perfectly. So again, I suggest Me6. Dino's a similar thing, I'll put the link in the description, but it does definitely help your server massively. So I recommend adding Me6 and Dino, and it will help your server flourish and grow and become even better. But guys, I'll go over to the final tip before going over to some server owners, which give you their top tip about setting up a new server. Right guys, so the final thing I suggest is go and get your friends to join your server. 
you want a bit of a moderation team and you want some members before you go and advertise it. Now, make sure to go watch my How to Grow Your Discord Server video because it will help you massively. I've got some other videos about like how to make your server active, how to get server nitro boosts, how to um, revive your dead Discord server, how to make your server look appealing. I've got how to stop Discord raids, etc, etc. I've got a lot of things which will really help you. So make sure to go check out my Discord tips playlist because I've got so many different videos which can help you develop and grow your server. But make sure to go check that out. Also, um, just make sure to get your friends on there and don't DM advertise, just ask them if they want to join. It will help you massively. Now I'm gonna go over to some other server owners which will give you their top tip about starting a new server. So I'll go over to that. There's a couple of them that want to uh, give you their best tips. Hey everyone, it's Alex, owner of Duck Squad. Nice to be back and happy Pride Month. My tip for starting a server of your own um, is to make sure that you have a group of maybe three to five friends that are willing to be active on the server um, and help out with whatever you need. Because if you're starting a new server, you need to have that strong base of people that are gonna support you with whatever you need um, and have the same ambitions for the server that you do. My server right now wouldn't be successful if, successful if I didn't have my three close friends who I was making it with that all equally put a bunch of hard work and time in. Um, and by having that small base of people that are all working really hard on the server, you also have people to share your accomplishments with and it makes everything a lot more fun because you're not so on your own. Hello, this is my one top tip on creating a Discord server. My best tip is to make sure your category permissions are synced with your channel permissions. When you have them synced, it is much easier to edit your server by going by category instead of by channel. It also makes things a lot simpler if a raid happens and you'd like to lock all of your channels. Also, making sure that you don't overdo the amount of things you put in your overrides makes for a much cleaner and faster server. My tip would be the first thing you do is remove the mention at everyone at here and all roles permission from the everyone role because if you then create a new role it will inherit the permissions from that and then later on you'll have to manually remove the permissions that you don't want. Right guys, so that makes the end of today's video. Thank you to Jensen for joining me today. Um, make sure to go and subscribe to the channel, like the video and comment some feedback. Make sure to also go check out my other tips videos and some of my fun videos because it also helps. And I hope your server grows too. Now, I obviously, as I said, I will put the um, server template in the description, but it is also going to be on screen in one minute, so make sure to go check that out. But anyways, guys, that marks the end of today's video, so I hope this helps you massively. Also, this week's subscriber shout-out is to a guy called Desi. His server link is on screen. He does some Nitro giveaways, so make sure to go check him out. Um, so make sure to go and see that. He, uh, he's got an awesome server. It's almost got 10,000 members. So make sure to go check that out. Anyways, guys, have an awesome day, and uh, yeah, peace out. Thank you